Hey everyone, this is Rito Thakur, Asia Raven, and Sony has finally released the first official trailer for the upcoming Resident Evil live action reboot, which is titled Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, and it will be hitting theaters November 24th. And yeah, this is a complete reboot. Apparently, it has nothing to do with the Mila Jovovic series, which, even if you have issues with that franchise, you have to admit that it was very popular. It ended up making like more than a billion uh, in total at the at the global box office. And I had fun watching those movies. Like even though they aren't the most well written, I still have fun. However, when it comes to Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City, according to the writers, it's supposed to uh, stick more to the story of the game franchise. Oh, power outage! It happens. It's been happening like for the entire day today. Anyway, uh, as I said that when it comes to Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, this um, uh, this upcoming movie is supposed to stick more to the game story, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that plays out. But yeah, of course there, uh, there has been some casting controversy when it comes to Jill Valentine and Leon Kennedy, which I'm like, you know what, I do understand that, but it's not to the extent, like the outrage, uh, in my opinion, is not to the extent that I won't be watching this movie, you know? So uh, the trailer is 2 minutes 27 long, uh, we have uh, Claire's face uh, as the first scene, so let's, let's play, oh, of course I will be pausing the trailer if I want to talk about something. Come on. Okay, okay, oh liquor! <laughs> September 30th, 1998, to discover the origins of evil. So, Claire is narrating the story to us. Way back here, Claire. Your conspiracies weren't true when you were kids. Wait, what? Not true now. Wait, what? We need to expel. Wait! Why is Claire talking to Chris? I guess they're changing the story. I think Claire ends up coming to Raccoon City before it gets infected? That's a very major change. That is a very major change. When you were kids, I'm not sure now. And she's into conspiracy theories. Expose umbrella. Oh. Oh, so she already knows that something is going to happen to Raccoon City. Why? Why change that? Maybe it will work out. Maybe it will work out. Okay, so I know, know that he's supposed to be William Burton. Jill. You know what I mean. Okay. It's uh, Wesker. He's he's Wesker. And the light came back. That's good. Also, uh, this uh, the girl here is uh, is Lisa. Or Lisa. Evan Jovia as Neon. Okay, I do like the zombies. Like they look very slimy. That one will be stuck. The call back from the game. Let the world know what's really going on. I, yeah, he's he's uh, Chief Irons. Not a song. Come on now. I don't want to get copyrighted. So yeah, I will be pausing the trailer more because of copyright. So Claire is stuck. So the infection happens in front of Claire. Oh, uh, yeah, this is not giving me, uh, this is not giving me Leon. Like, I look at her and I'm like, okay, that's Claire. I look at him and I'm immediately like, I don't know who that is, but that's not Leon. Maybe I'll change my mi mind when the film actually comes out. Yeah, I do know that the writers are going to tell two stories. They're basically combining uh, the story from Resident Evil 1 with Resident Evil 2. So I guess while Claire and Leon are trying to survive uh, the outbreak in Raccoon City, Chris and his team ends up going to the Spencer uh, Mansion. <laughs> Showing that Claire is into research and conspiracy theories, but uh, I also have certain concerns. Oh, that's 
I mean, I, I know this actress from the Maze Runner movies as well as Pirates of the Caribbean, but that's bad acting. Like, this scene, the way she delivers the line. Like, what's that? <laughs> oh. Is he supposed to be Spencer? A very old Spencer or something? I'm not really sure. Dangerous. Okay. The mansion. Uh-oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. The mansion doesn't look grand. It looks kind of cheap. Like, the film had a low budget. Like, I remember when the mansion was introduced in the game, it was, like, very, very big. Like, this does not look like a big mansion. Like, even the staircase. It's too small, in my opinion. Oh, come on now. Even the chandelier. Okay. Okay, run. So, they get stuck in the mansion. Wait. Call back. Call back from the game. I remember. I remember that scene. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Ugh. So they come into the Raccoon City Police Department. Mm -hmm. Ada is supposed to be in this movie too. Uh huh. Mutated dog. Okay. Can take. Ew. Ew! What was that? Yeah, the budget! The budget! Maybe the CGI will be more polished in the final version, but this ain't, this isn't good, in my opinion. What's going on? The liquor scene. Yeah, even the liquor kind of feels very CGI. Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Exclusively in movie theaters, they're like we aren't, we are not doing a digital uh, uh, release. So it's R-rated for gore, language, strong violence, which a Resident Evil sh a movie should be. But yeah, it turns out that they have apparently, from what I can understand, they have changed a whole lot of stuff around. Apparently, Claire wants to take down Umbrella while in the games. She wanted to find her brother, and then she ended up. Uh, working for Terra Save and wanting to take out, uh, take down corporations like Umbrella and Tricell and all of that. <sighs> but yeah, changes, changes. Also, as far as Leon is concerned, like Leon kind of looked like a supporting character, in my opinion, from the trailer. Jill and Chris kind of look supporting too. Like, it feels like this is going to be a very Claire-centric movie, which I'm not against. Like, I do feel that Claire needs more spotlight. Even in the novel adaptation of uh, Resident Evil 2, the main character was clearly uh, clear, in my opinion. And because Leon gets uh, injured and he kind of sits, uh, sits out uh, the final moments of Resident Evil 2, and Claire's the one who ends up meeting Sherry and all of that, and rescuing her and protecting her and all of that stuff. So I'm here for Claire getting the spotlight. But yeah, as far as the changes are concerned, like, I have thoughts. I have thoughts. You know what? I will be doing the written breakdown uh, of my thoughts uh, when it comes to the trailer. I will be doing the written article for the Geek Theory. The link to the article will be down in the comment section as soon as the article gets published because, again, as I said, I have thoughts. As a Resident Evil, as a long time Resident Evil fan, I am looking forward to watching this movie, but I also have my concerns. Uh, when it comes to the narrative choices they have uh, taken, the kind of low budget feel that this movie is giving me. Also, this, like it feels like the camera, like in my opinion, the camera is way too close to the uh, to the actor's faces, and it felt like it's not more of it's not necessarily a creative choice. It happened because they want to they want to distract you from uh, from low production value, in my opinion. Like the Spencer Mansion, it looked too small. Even the Raccoon City Police Department looked small. The gate and everything. But yeah, anyway, let me know what you thought of the trailer down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.